So today I want to jump into how I view issues in production um, and kind of a system that I've been using um, for like the last 10 years in terms of like if there's an issue in production, how do you actually fix it? Um, so the big one to me is I just think that a lot of people get, uh, it's really easy to, to really quickly hit the panic button before you even know what's going on. Um, and being technical, uh, typically we're always like running to, the, to, to find a solution. Um, but uh, we typically don't take enough time to even analyze if it's a problem or not. Um, so for me, the, the real big thing there is the longer we take and the more time and thought that we put into stuff, we typically will release better qual quality software. Um, so if you come to the table with kind of a predetermined set of priorities, um, and that's what the P stands for here, is like a priority zero to priority three. Um, and if you then kind of have quality bars as to what each one of these means, um, as well as then how you would address it uh, if this issue is happening in production, um, this really helps you kind of focus your thought, and then again, hopefully delivering better quality software. Um, because the biggest thing that happens is like if we do like hot fix mentality, you gotta, gotta get that fix out as fast as possible. Um, this is typically when you know things will fall apart, right? Um, we might release a piece of software that's not yet tested, um, or like another feature that was being worked on that's not uh, ready to hit production. Things like that can happen. Um, so this is really why I like to kind of you know put the brake on things and really figure out. Uh, when is the right time to be, you know, immediately releasing new software, new functionality. Um, and so, really, in my mind, uh, P0 is the only time that I would rush to fix production. And uh, it's defined extremely simply. And I think that all these levels really need to be defined quite simply. Um, for me, this is if data loss is occurring. So if you have data loss occurring in production, and I'm going to just go back to the, uh, the good industry word is data is money. If you have data loss occurring, uh, that means that uh, you really need to fix this problem. Um, so you can just think of it as um, if users have the ability to delete you know, quantities of data that they shouldn't delete, um, then that's when I would say, hey, whoa, that's a P0. We need to, you know, stop the ability to like have that data um, being deleted from the system. And so this is one that I would then um, really make that that needs to be done as quickly as possible. Um, and again, this is where your team, I think, kind of needs to define um, what kind of SLA would be around that. Um, my assumption is that if it hits a P0, um, you know, Hopefully you're targeting like minimal one hour, two hours to get a hot fix out to production. Um, but again, you should be doing all your, your regular testing that you would do with the production release. Um, and then on the maximum side, you know, maybe upwards of 24 hours. Um, and sometimes that's not achievable, right? But um, you should really kind of have um, these numbers so that, you know, people in your organization are aware of how fast you can address critical issues. Um, it's just good governance. Um, so down here, um, this is where I kind of, you know, these things, any one of these bugs um, should, be a, should be validated um, and prioritized. And I'm not going to really go into too much as to what each one of these can mean. Um, I would kind of loosely say maybe like performance, uh, performance might be your P1s. So if you have a system that's unsustainable in production and you're getting a lot of load, um, this might be like a P1. Um, and then down here would be like anything with a workaround, uh, then that would be, I would, I would class that down as like a P3. Now you might have specific things within this um, that are critical to you and your business. Um, so these are just really high level of kind of how I see things. Um, but again, I would figure out how you're gonna address these um, so, like on teams that I've done before, worked with before, um, basically we'd look at any 
you know, P1 and 2 would have to be taken in the next um, sprint or whatever you call your, your next, you know, iteration. Um, and then P3s, they might just go into like backlog um, depending, right? So this is where you kind of start um, honestly just getting right back into your typical software development process. So anything in the P1 through 3 into the software development process will go out when it goes out. Um, but P0 is data loss. Um, that's where you're really having an issue and that needs to be addressed like outside of your iteration, outside of your sprint. Um, this is the way that I look at it. Um, I really try and minimize what you would do to production um, because I really think you can introduce a lot more problems in a lot of cases. Anyways, I hope this was helpful and uh, we'll chat soon. Have a good day. Bye.